A consultative stakeholder conference is to be held in the Upper East and Upper West regions. This is to push hard the development of Northern Ghana. The stakeholders are meeting to coerce political parties to keep the Northern transformation agenda in their manifestos. The conferences are organized by the Northern Development Forum, TAMA, and Star Ghana Foundations and the Ghana Development Communities Association. Joining me online is Major John um, Chebi, he is retired, of course. He is a chairman of TAMA. Good afternoon, Major. Uh, good afternoon, Madam. I'm uh, indeed the chairman of the Northern Development Forum. Thank you very much for that clarity. So, in your assessment, how bad is development in the northern part of Ghana? Well, I believe it's no exaggeration that uh, Northern Ghana is uh, development here is really far behind. And uh, things are really bad up here. Right. And, and what would you say has contributed to this? Um, a number of factors. A number of factors. Um, obviously, the North being linked to development uh, is one factor. Two, uh, promises made by governments not delivered uh, is the second factor. And third, uh, the, the, the general difficulty, the lack of skills to undertake many development projects requiring persons from uh, other parts or even outside the country. And uh, generally, obviously, with poor development, the area is relatively inhospitable compared to other parts of the country. These all and probably a few more have contributed to the state of affairs here. Mm. So what, what can be done to change or make it better than what is there currently? Well, as you know, this recognition has been made several years ago. That is the reason why we had an organization which was called the Savannah Accelerated Development Authority. And uh, it is assumed that uh, there was a gap which needed to, to be filled faster than the normal to bridge the gulf uh, between the north and the south. We all know what happened to that. Right. And in recent times, a northern development authority has been put in place, but it has also been affected by all kinds of challenges. As you know, the northern development authority is not in place alone. There is a coastal development authority, a middle belt development authority, and they are all given the same resources. So obviously, if you are giving somebody who is ahead of another person the same resources, there can be no gap filling, and there can be no close of any gap, because the person who is ahead has the same resources as the person behind. So there can be no catch up, and that is the challenge we are facing. Now, let's look at housing in the three northern regions. Um, what should be the solution to ensure that there's proper housing? Is it the quality of building material? What, what is it? Yeah, this is an issue that we have raised with uh, various... In fact, recently we were at the presidency to push this issue. Um, we all, for example, a bag of cement in Tema probably costs around 32 Ghana cities. Right. To me, it costs 44 Ghana cities. Mm. 44 Ghana cities in Tumu and 32 Ghana cities in Tema. And what seems and to this, be the reason? This is, yeah, it's transportation and the allied cost. But we want to make the point that this transportation issue has been resolved in the in the in respect of sale of fuel. Right. Fuel is landed at Tema. But you and I know that the price of fuel across Ghana is the same. And then I'll give you a second example. Beer. Beer is brewed in Kumasi and in Accra, and yet the price of beer in Hamelin, in Boku, is the same as the price of beer outside the brewery at Achimota. Right. What has happened is that government has used a cross-subsidization policy to ensure that beer, the price of beer is the same across the country. Mm. The price of fuel is the same across the country. The question we are asking for a vital commodity like cement and iron rods, which are critical to filling the development gap between the north and the south. Why is government not doing what it has done for beer and fuel in the of building materials? Because Absolutely. schools, bridges, uh, hospitals, everything uses iron rods and cement. And yet, uh, for two houses in the north, you will build three houses in Accra. So we have the curious situation where it is easier and cheaper to build a house in Accra than to build a house in Wa. 
And, and even to add so-called insult to injury is the fact that you are likely to get higher rent for this your investment in Accra than the same investment in WA. So the question is, why would you build a house in WA or even invest in a, in a building structure in WA when you could build it cheaply in Accra and earn higher rent? So that is why we believe that if government has a crop subsidization policy for fuel and beer, why is that same government which is interested in the accelerated development of the north not applying that principle or that policy to building materials and also uh, to building materials which are an important ingredient in infrastructural development in northern Ghana and other remote parts of the country? Right, Don, I would thank you for joining us uh, on this afternoon on New Day. And thank you also for giving us details of what's happening in the north as far as, you know, development is concerned. He is the chairman of the Northing Development Forum.